In the last video, you saw how you can execute a mapping directly from the Cloud Mapping Designer interface. In this video, you will see how to create the equivalent of a Power Center session in IICS. Being able to execute a mapping directly from the Cloud Mapping Designer can be very helpful, can be very helpful especially during the development phase of a project. However, when you need to be able to execute a mapping on a recurring basis, or need to run multiple instances of a mapping, you will need the equivalent of a Power Center session. In IICS, that object is known as a mapping task. You can create a mapping task directly from a mapping, or you can click on the new icon where you can create a mapping task. You first give the mapping task a name, and you can choose which project or folder to store it in. You then choose your runtime environment, and then you select the mapping that you want this task to be based on. An image of the mapping will then be shown to help you verify that you've chosen the correct mapping. If there were required parameters or options that needed to be specified, they would dynamically appear in the wizard. But the mapping I selected does not, so it's directly presenting me with the schedule screen. This is very similar to Power Center, where you can set this task to run on demand or to run on a schedule. You can specify who to notify in case of success, warning, or failure. And lastly, you can invoke pre-session and post-session commands. Unlike Power Center sessions, you don't need to put mapping tasks in something like a workflow. Instead, you can schedule or run mapping tasks directly. This concludes this video on mapping tasks that are similar to Power Center sessions. And in the next video, we'll cover how to create the equivalent of a Power Center workflow in IICS. Thanks for watching.